everybody, welcome. This is Mr. Kate Decorates. Today we are decorating on a budget. You guys, it is bedroom on a budget. Normally I have thousands of dollars to spend in a room getting new furniture, etc. But this is going to be about doing some quick fixes with only $300, you guys. That is such a budget to work on to pull together an entire bedroom, but we're gonna do it. Speaking of money, this video is sponsored by Google Assistant. Actually, I'm gonna use it right now because not only are we on a budget, we're on a time crunch. So set an alarm for 5.30 p.m. Done, your alarm set for 5.30 p.m. Thank you, that is when we have to finish the room, you guys, but we have to also shop for the room. Only using $300, I'm ready for the challenge. Let's go, let's go see the room, guys. Come on, so much to do. Ah! Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. Oh, hey, you don't even hey, need the introduction. Hey, you already know hey, who hey, this hey. is. I'm Mr. Kate. on a budget video, I invented a character who lived in the room because we did it on a set. But this time, we wanted to pick a real person, somebody that actually inhabits the space so that the work we do can actually benefit somebody. So this is Alex's bedroom. She recently broke up with her boyfriend, so she is starting completely over from scratch. She had no furniture, so she's been getting hand-me-downs and finding things, etc. So Alex, we're gonna help you. We're gonna do it on a budget. It's gonna be challenging, and hopefully you guys are gonna get a lot of tips along the way. You guys know we don't have a huge budget, so we really have to work with what we have in this room. Now the things that I'm seeing in this room that make sense to still use are the bed, the box spring, which she has. We're gonna try to raise it off the floor. We also have this dresser here, which just looks like it's in good shape, enough that it doesn't make sense to throw it away and blow our budget on a new dresser. So we're gonna keep this dresser, but obviously these knobs are dripping glue. Not so cute. This chest here looks like it could totally work as a bedside table, so definitely going to reuse this, but of course, upcycle it by probably giving it a fresh coat of paint. This lamp, however, and the bedding just looks a little too old. We're gonna get rid of these and bring her in some new pretty things, or maybe some thrifted pretty things. Okay, so I know what I need to shop for, I know what I need to DIY. I'm gonna get Joey and we're gonna go shopping. We're gonna see what we can find, thrifting, whatever, wherever, on a budget in LA. Joey, let's go. All right, guys. I have Joey here with me. Hi, guys. He and I are going to go now shop this room, which is gonna be a challenge. I love a challenge. <laughs> which I guess the challenge is also now filming me. These excellent shots brought to you by me. I think we should go to a thrift store first. Thrift stores are just a place where you can find a lot of different items for like the cheapest, 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 right? Unless there's a garage sale or a flea market. But pretty much thrift stores are my jam, you guys know that. But I have to sort out my thoughts, so let me make a list to keep me in line. Okay, Google, add to my shopping list. What do you want to add? Bed frame and comforter and sheets and accessories, port of paint, and artwork. Okay, I've added bed frame, comforter, sheets, accessories, cord of paint, and artwork to your shopping list. Thank you. Can we go get lunch? No. I didn't eat lunch though. Why didn't you make me lunch? Oh, I'm sorry, I have to make you lunch and decorate a room on a ridiculously low budget? Next video, Kate will make me lunch on a budget. I have ideas. Yeah! Cut. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here at the first thrift store. Let's go in and see what we can find. So I haven't told you guys what kind of style I'm going for in this room. Alex likes that kind of like Parisian glam, silver, black and white, maybe a little bit of gold, kind of a minimalist look, which is great because when you're shopping on a budget, <laughs> less is more. So, as I'm combing through this space and keeping those two styles in mind, it's really important because obviously there's so much going on in here, so I've got to keep a clear head. Wait, are you kidding me? Since when do thrift stores have new rugs? See, this is what's so great about thrift stores. You go into them and you never know what you're going to get. The fact that they have new rugs is pretty cray cray. Kate, what's that in the corner? It's a bed frame. Oh my god. $19.99? But does it work? Yeah. 20 bucks. 
This is too good to be true. This is so weird. What? Remember when I said she was into Parisian stuff? Yeah. This is an Eiffel Tower. What though? I feel like it's probably a wine holder. <laughs> I don't know, but we should get it. So here's a budget saving tip, you guys. If you only have a certain amount of money to spend on accessories, look for larger scale accessories that will eat up more space in the room. This is $8.99, but it's gonna like take up a lot of space on probably her dresser, probably styles on her dresser. And you can reimagine things like this as a wine bottle holder, but why couldn't it be like a sunglasses holder? A scarf holder, she could like loop through scarves or something. You won, you found it, go, victory lap. <laughs> victory lap, go. Guys, look at this lamp. And that's gorgeous and silver. And then this piece is really pretty too. You could just like put some sticks in or something. All right, so we got bed frame, rug, Brandon Paris, Eiffel Tower sculpture. Accessory. A lamp. Another random <laughs> thing. We need curtains, we need bedding, some kind of artwork. Great. You guys know that shopping for accessories is one of my favorite things. It's the jewelry of the room. It's how you craft a beautiful story. So I found this really cool tarnished tray. To me, this looks like really antique, almost like something you would get in like a Paris flea market. And look at how cute this little brass thing is. $2.99. Bam. $2.99. Modern, clean line. $1.99. A bathroom, tin trash can. It says Le Bain, which I think is Le Bain in French. It does not have to be used as a trash can. It can totally be used as a plant pot. Oh my gosh. Do that budget shop dance. <laughs> budget shop, budget shopping, budget shop. Bedroom on a budget. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Four summer>. <laughs> <laughs> this chair is $5.99. $5.99? You make it look great. Kate, what are you doing? New sheets, full sheet set in a beautiful champagne color. $10. that good? That's really good. Yep. Sheets are not cheap. $10 sheets. Awesome. I know, $5 for throw blankets? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Day. The thrifting gods are just really loving me today because two curtain panels in a beautiful champagne color, 96 inches. We have wall space to cover, she has nothing on there, and we gotta get crafty and we gotta get budget friendly and cheap. And if I were to go to the art store to get a new canvas this size, it would be like 25 bucks probably. This is six dollars. So we could get this and create like some new cool artwork over this using this as just our canvas. And I also found this frame, and we'll use this pretty frame for something new and cool. Let's check out. Okay. Ooh. I am so happy with how our thrifting went. Now it is time to regroup. So let's check our list. Let's see what stuff we've gotten and then stuff that we need to still get in order to complete the design. Show me my shopping list. Here you go. Let me check off some of these things. Didn't get knobs for dresser, quarter feet, no. Accessories, yes. I need a comforter, knobs for the dresser, and a quarter feet. So I think we should hit up the hardware store. Let's go. Yes! Okay, Google, what's my name? Your name is Queen of Thrifting. Oh! <laughs> the queen of thrifting. <laughs> Yay! Hardware store was great. Got two plants. Got a curtain rod. $18.99. Piece of wood, which Joey is going to use to make the lead shelf. Also got some really cheap shelf brackets. And we're also going to use this wood to make some really cool pulls for the dresser. A quart of paint and some spray paint in case I want to do something with the artwork with spray paint or maybe spray paint some of those things we got from the thrift store. I don't know. Spray paint is just good to have on hand and it was $5. Going to stop really quickly to try to get a comforter on clearance, maybe a throw pillow. But I'll see you back at Alex's. Bye -bye. Okay guys, we are back in the room. Obviously we've cleared out the stuff. Joey's working on the construction projects. I am going to start painting. Now, a budget saving tip for you guys, instead of buying enough paint, like two gallons worth, to cover all four walls of a room, why not just buy a quart of paint? This is actually a really cool tip for you guys because it's also a really cool look. You'll see it in some of the other spaces that we've done before, and that is painting a portion of the wall. 
I like not dividing it completely in half because it's a little bit better of a ratio for the eye. I think it's better to kind of work with a more off ratio. So this is almost like a third. Also, because we're only using a bed frame to prop up the bed in front of this wall, it's not gonna be super high. So I don't want too much paint sticking up beyond the bed, but it's gonna kind of give it a headboard look without, of course, spending money on the headboard. Okay guys, so close the door and hello, this door is just not looking too exciting. We have some leftover black paint, so why not make a little black insert and cover up the blemishes? Reverse cover up. Hello. Hey. Is it gonna work to fix this? Yeah, I mean, basically she tried to glue in her knobs or someone did, I don't know where the stressor's from. This piece really just needs like the glue sanded off on the drawers. The only problem is if we sand off the glue, we may need to paint the drawers. Well, I have the black paint from our kit, which like probably won't match exactly this black paint. If we have to patch the drawers, we could paint each drawer so that at least the drawers all match and like they're kind of like two-tone with the dresser. Yep. I can do stuff. painting stuff. I guess you can help me do painting stuff and then you'll do the shelf. Sure, should I just do all of the, this stuff? <laughs> so it's explain uh, yeah. to me the knob project. Okay, I'm thinking to kind of modernize this piece a little bit, bring in the sort of like angular thing that we're doing with the wall paint, cut shapes out of the wood, but like bigger, like, you know, kind of like with that. Geometric shapes, like all, it could be, but irregular. Geometric Can you draw shapes. the shapes and I'll cut them? Yeah. We, so need, we need six, six of them, right? Yeah. Then a piece un behind it, which makes sense. Yeah. We need a little chunk behind it so that it sticks off. Just draw the shapes. Okay. I'll make the magic happen. Okay, we'll do one here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Basically, sand, paint, sand, paint, cut, paint, and then the excess color. of this is gonna be a shelf next to her bed. Yeah, so I'm gonna go do art then. You do you, boo. <laughs> Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where does she live again? This way. Okay, guys, I have my art station set up. You guys know I love doing DIY art. Why? Because you get to be creative. You get to put your creative stamp in the room. And also, hello, budget friendly to do DIY art instead of buying expensive art. We have in front of us the canvas, which you guys saw me buy at the thrift store. It was $6. And if I got it at the art store, it would be probably like $25 for the size. So I am going to use this to paint over. It's a print. It's not some hand-painted beautiful piece of art. It also has scratches, et cetera, on it. So there's no point in keeping it. Also, I have the frame here from the thrift store, which I am going to use as a frame. I'm not gonna keep the art that is inside of it. It's very dated. It is not our color palette. Instead, I'm going to use one of these prints. I sketch in my sketchbook a lot, and what I love to do is scan those sketches in and then get them printed super cheaply, very budget friendly at like a copy shop. So basically you can get something printed really huge on the engineer printers, you know, the ones that like the architects use. But what's so great is it's between like two to five dollars depending on the size that you choose. So the goal is to elevate these by putting them in frames or for this sketch of the flowers here, I'm going to use some of these clips, which I love using. It's a really like kind of cool minimalist look, also very budget friendly, and you can just hang these on the wall around screws because they've got the little holes at the top. All right, but I think I'm gonna start with painting this canvas because you know it's got dry time and we're under crunch time. Do you have my crunch time, guys? Let's go. Okay, so I'm laying this down and I have a piece of plastic here, which I'm gonna use to cover the area that I don't want spray painted. So I basically just wanna leave like a diagonal corner that I'm gonna spray paint gold for just like another element, a little bit of flair. So I'm just gonna tape it down, spray paint on the wall. Oh, 
I love how that spray paint is like sheer. It's like a sheer coverage. Dry, bye. Okay, last two staples down and ta-da! Oh my gosh. Guys, look at how cute. Thrift store frame, which was like what, $3.99? And the print was like $3 from the print shop. And ta-da, art. I love it. And I love this vintage frame. It's gonna look so good. Guys, I think we're done with art. So I've got the thrift store sheets. Remember, they were brand new at the thrift store. Like, how did we get so lucky? They look great. They're this beautiful champagne color, similar to the curtains, which is awesome. Now I have this comforter, which I picked up. I also picked up really quickly from a big box store, the bed skirt and this. I'm probably actually gonna use the pillowcases that came with this comforter instead of the ones that came with the sheet set. The shelves in it looks great. I love this paint job, so yeah, make your bed. Guys, how amazing did this dresser turn out? Like, this is like a completely new piece. Call Joey on speakerphone. Calling Joey, mobile on speakerphone. Where is he? Hey, this is Joey. I'm going to message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Typical. Joey, I am calling you to give you a compliment on how gorgeous the dresser looks. The knobs are fabulous. Joey, where the heck are you? Are you getting lunch? If you are, can you get me some? Love you. Thank you. Miss you. Where are you? by what we were able to do with our budget. Do you guys like it? Peaceful. I love that we have the black and white contrast. I mean, how much of an impact did this painted wall make? I mean, it really just establishes a tone of design in here. I love how this print in our flea market frame turned out so inexpensive. And then we've got this awesome throw pillow. Oh, which by the way, I got when I got the comforter. This was in the clearance section. Why? I don't know, because it's so fabulous. And I am totally obsessed with how the dresser turned out. Those geometric knobs are just so cool and it's really simple to DIY. I use everything in this room that we picked out at the thrift store together. Curtains, the rug, that chair, and I'm just so thrilled with how it looks. A little bit of a splash of graphic art over on this side to just counterbalance the graphic that's going on back here. So I hope you're inspired because this is really an example of what a little bit of paint and the right accessories can do to really elevate a room on a budget. Legit thumbs up for a legit on budget bedroom. It's so fun. Oh, this isn't my bed, okay. Hi, welcome back. Yeah. Hey, are you excited? I'm so excited. Hey, Alex is here. Coming, Alex, come on in. Hi! Oh my god! This is the same room! Oh my god! No way! Where am I? Oh my god! Everything's so pretty! Parisian? Look, I'm shaking! Oh, you're so sweet! Oh my like god! It? Everything is so... Oh, Paris! Yes! Oh my god! Everything's so beautiful! Oh, yay! It feels... Like home. Oh, good. I'm so <laughs> this glad. This is amazing. 
everything, okay. the colors, everything, the combination. It's just so me. Oh my god, that's the same. Yeah, that's oh the same god, dresser. I, I didn't even recognize it. Joey, she's admiring your dresser. Where are you? You're, you're getting this is compliment. amazing. You love I didn't it? even. I was like, it's the same thing. We completely <laughs> upcycled your room. Yeah. Oh my god. We did it for totally. less than three hundred bucks. No way. Yeah. Less than, than 300 bucks. No way. That was our challenge. Oh. A day less than 300 wow. bucks. Wow, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. So so <laughs> this is amazing. Now I can actually sleep in my own room. Oh my god, I'm excited. In your hotel, sh Parisian hotel sheets. Oh my sheets. god, I'm so happy. Yeah, everything. Paris flea market, yay. I'm so happy. Thank oh, you so much, you guys. You're welcome. Yay. Another hug. Thank you. Oh, I love it. I know it. you just Enjoy. got back from work. So. Yes. Bye, Bye girl. Here. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yay. Oh, traffic. Glorious traffic. Bedroom on a budget. Bedroom on a budget. We are just glowing. We just have a budget glow about us. Very, very proud of everything that we did in that room. Joey, thank you so much. Of course. I mean, you helped. You always help me. You're the best husband on a budget one could ever find. What? What does that mean? You want to me on your budget. Why am I on a budget? Because you're a great find. You're a thrift store find. <laughs> okay. So guys, let us know in the comments if you end up doing this challenge or if you have any budget saving tips that you find really helpful. You know, our creative weirdo community just loves to share all about creativity. So don't hold back in those comments. And yeah, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet because we have so many fun decorating videos planned and you won't want to miss them so sign up and also sign up for notifications come on do it speed bump okay <laughs> and also thank you so much google assistant for being part of this video because well you were of great assistance <laughs> i really appreciate it so thank you we will see you next time we're gonna go eat dinner Mwah. bye thumbs up for this girl Aw, thanks. She and deserves Joey. all the thumbs up in the world. Aw, that's so nice. Thank you. What are you going to make for dinner? What? What is this? <laughs> what do you think? A small sarcophagus? No. My guess is it's golf clubs. It's a golf club case or a drum. So you don't need it. Oh, it's the song of the camera and the tripod. Ah. Nope, don't need you. This is only 19 bucks. There's enough money for you to do kettlebell swings. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smallest kettlebell ever. Here's a budget saving tip. Is this lighting horrible? Yes. You see my, I don't, don't cut off my butt. You see my butt, right?